Hello, great morning, everyone. I am Teacher Ami. For this week, we will discuss about solving linear equations and inequality in one variable. Our learning competencies are the following. Solves linear equation or inequality in one variable involving absolute value by graphing and by algebraic methods. And solves problems involving equations and inequalities in one variable. So last time we discussed that then ang uh, um, difference between the linear equation and uh, linear inequalities and their symbols and sample ng pag the translate from the sentence to verbal or mathematical sentence and formula uh, formulate a formula to solve problems involving uh, linear equations and at the same time a uh, linear inequality solving equations or inequality is finding the value or values of the variable that will satisfy the equation or inequality so these are um, common properties that we will use in solving linear equations and linear inequalities, both simple, um, simple algebraic method and problem solving. The properties or one of the properties of equality is addition property of equality. Once nag-add tayo sa isang side, mag a din tayo in, sa kabilang side. The same also in inequality. So this is an axiom, axiom of comparison. So this, uh, if A is equal to B, then A plus C is equal to B plus C. Then the same with multiplication property of equality. We have also multiplication property of inequality. Kung ano ating may multiply sa isang side, yun din ang ating imumultiply sa kabilang side. Example, in inequality, so if A is equal to B, then if we multiply both sides by C, so AC is equal to BC. So transitivity property of inequality, if A is less than B and B is less than C, then we can conclude that A is less than C. Then if A is greater than B and B is greater than C, then A is greater than C in uh, properties of inequality. We have also reflexive property of equality and any number or expression is equal to itself. So 3 is equal to 3, m is equal to m, x is equal to x. Symmetric property of equality or SPE is the size of the equation can be interchanged. So example, AB is equal to CDX, then therefore CT is equal to a, B. Nagpalit lang sila ng peso ang isa napunta sa left side at ang left side napunta sa right side. So, still no, uh, kahit nag-interchange ng position, ay no changing with, the, with regards to the result. So, in properties of inequality, so ito yung na-discuss ko na kung ano na-add natin in both sides, addition property of inequality, also in multiplication property of inequality or MPI. Now, example in APE, addition property of equality. If X plus 5 is equal to 4, then if we add both sides by minus 2 or opposite of yes, minus 2 or subtraction of property. So, this will become X plus 5 minus 2 equals 4 minus 2 or simplify 5 minus 2 is 3 and 4 minus 2 is 2. So, x plus 3 equals 2. If we use addition property of equality or subtraction of equality. Then, multiplication property of equa uh, equation. So, we have if x is equal to 2 and if we multiply both sides by 2. So, we have 2 times x equals 2 times 10. And 2 times x is 2x and 2 times 10 is 20. Kaya 2x equals 20. Then addition property of inequality. 
So if x minus 2 is great, less than 6, then x add 2 in both sides. So we have x minus 2 plus 2. This is not equal, but this is less than 6 plus 2. So we have uh, negative 2 plus 2 is 0, kaya x na lang siya. So copy the symbol of less than and 6 plus 2 is equal to 8. Then the same also in multiplication property of inequality. Negative x less than 3. Then if we multiply both sides by negative 1, negative 1 times negative x is positive x. Then copy um, greater than but naging greater than. So, kung ito yung less than, less than yung dapat to. So, kung ito yung greater than, greater than din to. Ito yung nasa ating lecture. So, negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. So, x greater than or less than negative 3. Depende kung anong given. So, kung ito ang given, this is not greater than, this is less than negative 3. So, linear equation in one variable. To solve equations, you apply the properties of equality and follow some steps. Step number one, simplify both sides of the equation. Arrange it first. <clears throat> Combine similar terms, variable to variables, constant to constant. Example, on the right side are all variables and on the uh, left side are all variables and on the right side are all constant terms. This includes applying distributive property of multiplication over addition or DPMA and or combining similar terms. If the equation has a fraction clear, the denominators by multiplying by both sides of the equation by the LCD of all the denominators. So, kung ang number one ay ating pagsasama-samayin sa isang side, halimbawa sa left side, lahat ng variables at lahat ng constant sa kabilang side or sa right side. Now, in step number 2, kung mayroong denominator, kailangan ma-eliminate yung denominator by multiplying it sa reciprocal. Kung ano yung uh, LCD ng lahat ng denominators given to remove the denominator. And number 3, if the equation has decimal, clear the decimal by multiplying every term of the equation by powers of 10 depending on the greatest number of decimal places in the terms has. And number 4, if a constant is added to a term with a variable, add its opposite to both sides of the equation or apply addition property of e equation or, or equality or subtraction of equality property. If a variable has a numerical coefficient the other than 1 multiply both sides by its reciprocal, the numeric, numerical coefficient or divide both sides of the equation by the numerical coefficient or mul multiplication property of equation or equality. So, do sa ating lesson ng linear equation and inequality, uh, diniscuss ko ng kapag may numerical coefficient, you will divide kung ano yung numerical coefficient niya or reciprocal of that numerical coefficient. So, the same in this, gagamitin naman natin multiplication. And number six, substitute the solved value to the variable in the equation to check if you get the right answer. Example, Solve for the value of x. So, 2x plus 5. Ang solution, since the equation is already simplified form, so we go to step number 4. So, 2x, so property, addition property, or subtraction property ang gagamitin natin. We add by negative both sides by negative 5 or subtract by 5. So, 2x plus 5 minus 5 equals 21 minus 5. So, simplify, bring down 2x and 5 minus 5 is 0 and 21 minus 1 minus 5 is 16. Then, may 2 ang numerical coefficient ng variable of x. So, it means let us multiply both sides by reciprocal of 2 and that is 1 half. So, 2x times 1 half is equal to 16 times 1 half. And 1 half of 2x is x bring down equal sign 
and one half of 16 is 8. So our solution is x equals to 8 for checking. 2 times 8 is 16, and 16 plus 5 is equal to 21. So therefore, our uh, computation is correct. Another example, the sum of three consecutive odd integers is 81. Find the numbers. So we need to find understood. Ha? Tingnan natin ha? 1, 3, 5. So dalawa ang pagtinta niya. So the difference between two odd numbers or even numbers is 2. Let us consider x is the first odd integer, then x plus 2 is the second odd integer, and the third is x plus 2 plus 2 or x plus 4, the third. Then, since the sum of these three numbers or three consecutive odd numbers is 82, then the equation is the first term is x plus the second term is x plus 2 plus the third term is x plus 4, and the sum is equal to 81. Apply the rules. Step number 4, simplify. <clears throat> combine, or step number 1, combine similar terms. So, x plus x plus x is equal to 3x. Then, 2 plus 6 is equal to 6. Then, bring down equals 81. Combining similar terms. <clears throat> then, apply uh, rule number four, add addition property of add both sides by negative six or subtract both sides by six. <clears throat> so we have 3x my, plus six minus six is equal to 81 minus six. Then simplify, bring down 3x, six minus six is zero, so equal sign. 81 minus 6 is equal to 75. Again, we have numerical coefficient of 3 in the variable of x. So we multiply both sides by reciprocal of 3 and that is one third or divide both sides by 3. So we have 3x over uh, times one third equals to 75 times one third. So 3 divided by 3 is equal to x. And 75 divided by 3 is equal to 25. So the value of x is 25. So the first term is 25. The second term, which is x plus 2, 25 plus 2 is equal to 27. And third term is x plus 4 equals to 25 plus 4 equals to 29. Therefore, the three consecutive odd integers are 25, 27, and 29. And if we add 25, 27, and 29, the sum is 81. Another example, Anton is two more than three times older than her daughter sub. In 16 years, he will be twice as old as daughter. How's, what are their present ages? So this is the table. The sub, the present age is x. For Anton is 3x plus 2. Then 16 years from now, we add plus 16. Then ito yung uh, combination ng age na twice ang age ni Anton pag 16 years from now. So 3x combined 2 plus 16 is 18. Then distributive property 2x Bring down 2x and 2 times 16 is 32. Combine similar terms. So we have 3x minus 2x plus 18 minus 18 equals 2x my, uh, minus 2x plus 3, 32 minus 18. So 3x minus 2x is equal to x and 18 minus 18 is 0. 32 minus 18 is equal to 14. So, this is the solution. Substitute lang natin ang value ng x. At present, ang x ay 14 years old. So, yun si Sab. Sab's age is 14 years old. And Anton's age is 3x plus 2. So, 3 times 14 plus 2 is equal to 42 plus 2. And that is 44 years old. So, Sab's age is 14 years old. And... Anton's age is 44 years old. So, 
16 years. So 14 plus 16 is equal to uh, 14 plus 16 is 30. 44 plus 16 is equal to 16. In linear inequality in one variable, to solve inequality, you have used the properties of inequality and followed the same steps in solving the for the equation. So for x example, so x plus 3, uh, x over 3 plus 4 greater than 5. So we need to remove the denominator by multiplying the reciprocal of 3, which is the LCD of the given. So we have 3 times x over 3 plus 3 times 4 greater than 3 times 5. So 3x or 3 divided by 3 is x plus 3 times 4 is 12, bring down greater than 3 times 5 is 15. Then for step number 4, apply addition property or subtraction property. So add both sides by negative 12 or subtract both sides by 12. So x plus 12 minus 12 greater than 15 minus 12. So we have x greater than 3. So it means the solution of the inequality are all the numbers that are greater than 10. Infinity siya. Uh, pwede siyang 4, 5, 6, etc. Walang katapusan. So pwede siyang isulat in three ways in set of notation. It is read as set of all x that is that x is greater than 3. The interval notation is 3, then positive infinity. The symbol means is infinity ay walang katapusan. And this is the graphical method. So this is the number line. So 3 going to the right na naka-indicate uh, for that. So it means this is the graph of this linear inequality. Number two example, find the value of x that satisfy both inequalities of negative 3, less than 2x plus 1, and 2x plus 1, uh, less than or equal to 9. You can write the inequality as negative 3, less than 2x plus 1, greater than or equal, uh, less than or equal to 9. Bakit? Pareha silang may 2x plus 1. 1. Kaya pinag-combine na siya. So we have negative 3 if we subtract negative 1 in all in all aspects. So negative 3 minus 1 or add negative 1. Less than 2x plus 1 negative 1. Greater than uh, less than or equal to 9 minus 1. So we have negative 4 less than 2x and 1 minus 1 is 0, less than or equal to 9 minus 1 is 8. Reciprocal of 2 is 1 half multiplication property. So negative 4 times 1 half less than 2x times 1 half less than or equal to 8 times 1 half. So uh, 1 half of 4 is negative 2. Bring down neg uh, less than. Then x na lang because 1 half of 2 is 1. Then less than or equal to 1 half of 8 is 4. So this is the solution negative between negative 2 to positive 4. Ang value ng x. The interval notation is negative 2, 4. Parenthesis means negative 2 is not included in the solution set. Well, bracket means that 4 is included in the solution set. So from negative 2 to negative to positive 4, we have an exact. The length, number 3 example, the length of the rectangle is 4 more than twice the width. If the perimeter is not more than 80, find the possible dimensions of the rectangle. So let x be the width, 2x plus 4 the length more than twice the width. And Perimeter formula is 2L plus 2W. However, in the problem, it must not be more than 8. So, it means less than or equal to. So, 2L plus 2W less than or equal to 80. The perimeter can be 80 but not more than 80. 2 
times, green down lang natin yung 2x plus 4 plus 2 times x less than or equal to 80. So distributive property of multiplication over addition 2 times 2x is 4x. 2 times 4 is 8. Bring down plus 2 times x is 2x. Bring down less than equal to 80. Combine similar terms. So 4x plus 2x is equal to 6x. Bring down plus 8. Then bring down uh, less than or equal to 80. Then subtract both sides by 8 or add both sides by negative 8. So we have 6x plus 8 minus 8 less than or equal to 80 minus 8. So simplify 6x, 8 minus 8 is 0. Bring down less than or equal to 80 minus 8 is equal to 72. Then multiply multiplication property of reciprocal of 6 or divide, division property divide both sides by 6. But we will use multiplication property. So 6x times one uh, reciprocal of 6 is 1 over 6. Bring down less than or equal to 72 times 1 over 6. And 6 divided by 6 is x. Bring down less than or equal to 7, 1, 1 6 of 72 or 72 divided by 6 is equal to 12. So it means the possible value of x is 12. Okay, so a zero is with and less than 12 since there is no negative measurement. Since length is 2x plus 4, and if x is equal to 0, then the length is equal to 4. However, the width must be greater than 0, therefore the length is greater than 4. The highest possible width is 12, then the length is 2 times 12 plus 4 is equal to 28. Therefore, the length can be equal or less than 28. So, the possible length of 4 less than length less than 28. So, between 4 to 28 ang possible uh, value ng... So, length, uh, width is 12, length is 28, width is 11, or length is 26. Okay, so I hope na unawaan po natin kung ano at paano mag-solve ng linear equation and inequalities in one variable. So I hope uh, pwede natin pong balikan yung video at masagutan natin ang lahat ng learning tasks na binigay sa atin ng teacher and additional activity with regards in solving linear inequality and linear equation and solving problem solving involving linear inequalities and e equation. So, thank you for your time. Thank you uh, for your watching. Keep safe and God bless.